Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about how I built out my first website using Django that ended up getting me my first job as a software developer and how I later sold that website for over $41,000 to my former employer and just basically go through that process and let you know how I did all that and talk about things like technologies I've used, uh, the process itself and so on. So I normally don't like to go into numbers like this, you know, go, talking about the $41,000, but um, I figured that would be a good story for people to hear and actually see what's possible out there and get some kind of idea of what something like this would take and maybe inspire some people and just give you some kind of insight into my story. So I was working as a digital marketer and a web developer at a forensics laboratory where we analyzed fuel samples. So um, customers would send in things like diesel samples, gasoline samples, and our job was to analyze that data or the sample itself and send them back the data and let them know what was going on in there. And I was working as a, again, a digital marketer. So I was building out their website uh, using WordPress, HTML and CSS, and um, just doing things like SEO and so on. And we got to a point at the company where um, there was the software that we were using that a former developer had built out that was in charge of storing all of this data that the lab would take in. So we would take in that data, put it into our system, and then send it out to customers via PDF. So that system was built in 2008, and you can imagine how outdated that must have looked. So there was no styling to it. Um, they had, it had a lot of issues. It was just really outdated, and we needed something new. So we started looking for companies that could build this out for us and developers, but um, I really wanted to build this thing out, and I told my boss, hey, if you let me take a stab at this thing, and give me a few months to learn. I think I can do something like this. So let me let me try this thing. So I went ahead and started looking at books and reading online resources and studying this kind of stuff. And the first thing I found was this book right here from a Barnes and Noble. So it's just a local bookstore that we have. And I started reading Automate the Boring Stuff with Python and started figuring out uh, what I can do with Python and is it possible to build a website with it? So. I got all the basics done in about 20 days, started feeling very comfortable with it. But then I started hearing that I needed to use a framework to actually build a website just, uh, just to make this process easier. So I started hearing about Flask and Django and eventually ended up settling on Django. So I chose Django and studied that for about another month and a half, maybe two months. And with that, also wanted to use JavaScript on the front end to render my data. So this was the book I chose for that and got my start there and started really piecing all of this together and started feeling pretty comfortable as a developer, as a full stack developer and understanding how all of this works. So I decided, okay, I'm ready. This is about two and a half months into it. I'll draw up a prototype. I'll take it to a meeting and I'll see if I can pitch this thing. So I, if I go to my screen here, I drew up this prototype and I'm so glad I kept the original because I, this is exactly what I drew up for my boss. This is the original picture. And I sold them on this vision of, let me build out what we currently have, but let's actually add a client interface to this software so a client no longer has to receive PDFs in, the, in their email because that seems a little bit outdated. Let's let the client log in and view the data themselves. And I had an idea of what kind of data they would see. So we wanted to visually display that data in, um, in things like line charts, scatter plots, and maybe even visually on a map is which you know, which is what you see right here. So everybody was sold on this idea and we started pitching to, We started pitching this thing to clients on day one. So we started taking this exact picture to clients and everybody loved it because in the industry I was working in, this was new. There was There's not a lot of tech there. So this was kind of revolutionary to what um, everybody was seeing. So everyone started pitching this. I was also in those meetings pitching it, but on my time off, I was working on this thing and developing it and about four months into that, I actually had our first product ready and set to go and launch it in the back end and actually take it to clients. So we actually uh, kind of did this soft integration thing where we still ran on the old system, but the data entry guys in the lab or chemist were in charge of entering data into the old system and into mine just to have backups if something happened to mine because I was a new developer. So uh, we didn't want to trust that kind of sensitive data, um, you know, just trust that it could be lost somehow because with my inexperience, that could be you know, kind of a problem there. So with that being said, here was the product that I had developed. It was a different version at the time, but this was uh, the final product that we took to market. This is just the, 
lab or the customer side of things. So we took this product to market and gave this customer, our customers, this beautiful dashboard where they can actually see all of their data. So I'll just go over the product itself. And in the top here, you can see the client can view all the samples they submitted, samples they currently have in lab, samples that they've historically completed, and maybe samples that need to be revisited, samples that have been uh, failed or you know just kind of had some out of limits specs so they can be notified of any issues. And down here, I wanted to visualize just like in my mockup, I wanted the client to have the ability to see the data in a map. So anytime they provided something like a um, zip code or some kind of city state address to us, we were able to actually convert this into longitude and latitude coordinates and display it in a map. And then not only that, but display whenever there was a sample that was in that area that had maybe uh, been run out of limits. So we can see five samples, two samples were failed and we were able to view that data. And on the right here, we can actually switch between and see which months that client sent in data and then have it graphed out here. So if we scroll down right here, here were the actual tests that the clients actually ran with the lab. So you can see the test name here and also when I hover over it and whenever a client clicks on these tests, they can actually see the test results graphed out on the right side. So it's fully interactive and gave the clients a really good perspective of what was going on and gave them the abil ability to view their data and trend it. So this was done using zine charts on the front end. And also um, we were able to expand this chart and let the client view this almost uh, from a scientific perspective and analyze their data and see it very specifically. So we had that and down here we had the table of data, which they can search by date and even have this advanced search filter right here and also download this data into an Excel sheet and have it exported in any way they wanted if they wanted to take this to a meeting. So we were providing the client a lot of data and the way we monetize this thing was to not sell the product itself, but to offer it for free and just give the clients the ability to go with us and um, have this dashboard if they chose us as a, as a service provider. So let's talk about the sale itself. We were delivering this product. Um, I was the sole developer for two years. Um, I had a little bit of help, but not much of a budget to really hire experienced developers. So I was the lead and I was working about 16 hour days and was really burnt out at this point. Um, it was a lot of stress dealing with clients and having to upkeep this with my inexperience. So we got to a point where I actually had some disagreements with my boss and um, we just decided, hey, the best way to go about this is to part ways um, but we need to do something about the product itself because I never actually got paid for the software. Um, I was still a digital marketer and was building this thing technically on my own time, using all of my own stuff and even had paid for things like uh, server cost and so on. So what we decided was that um, I would get paid out $41,000 and he can have exclusive rights to the software and I was supposed to train up another developer just, just to make sure that that transition can actually uh, move you know, efficiently. So. Um, I originally thought the product was worth a lot more and I still think it was, but um, I really just wanted out. So I just, I just decided if I sell it for a lot less, I have less commitment in having to train up the next person, having to be with the company for another six months to a year or anything like that. So I just wanted a clean breakaway and just to be done with it because at this point I was a little burnt out. So that's how we settled on that number um, just based on the value and how much value I would contribute in that integration process with the new developer. So um, a few things with this product, I'm just looking at my notes here. I just wanted to talk about the technologies itself and what I actually use to build this and to get this thing to work. So um, as you know, by now I use Python and Django and JavaScript on the front end originally. Now, one thing that did happen was that when I built this thing out in 2018, ES6 was out on the market maybe for a year, I think. Um, it came out in 2015, but it was kind of just progressing and a lot of browsers weren't compatible with the data itself. So I was sitting in a coffee shop in Las Vegas where uh, my wife and I were just visiting family and I get a call from a client. Um, I worked a lot uh, just on the road like that. So I get a call from a client and the client's telling me, hey, I can't view my data. And I'm trying to debug this thing, trying to figure out what's going on. And it turns out that um, I believe it was Internet Explorer at the time, didn't, uh, couldn't read template literals in JavaScript. So none of the data was being displayed. So this led to either figuring out how to either make this thing cross compatible 
or when I did my research, I figured out that something like React uh, React JS can actually solve this and make this compatible for all browsers. So that led me into deciding, hey, let's switch this thing to React on the front end and let's learn it. So two weeks later, um, I just actually bought this book right here. So I read this thing in an evening. Um, wasn't fun, but I got it done, uh, studied it for a little bit and implemented React. So we had this thing completely switched over to React on the front end and now it was compatible. So as far as the database goes, um, we use Postgres for this because Postgres integrates with Django very well and it was kind of the first thing that I learned at the time. So um, why learn more than you need? I just figured, hey, this looks like it'll do the job. It's very popular, has a lot of documentation. So I chose Postgres for that. As far as hosting that database, I decided to put this up on AWS. So I have my Postgres database on AWS and that's also where I had my static files. So um, I put up everything into S3 buckets. So that's where we had things like images, styling and much more. So the website itself, I chose Heroku for that. Heroku as my server. So we put the website on Heroku and just integrated those two. And for the map, like I mentioned before, this was just a Google Maps API right here. So that's how I was able to render that out. And the charts, this was all Zing charts right here. So Zing charts kind of uh, saved the day here. It was the easiest charting system that I can find that met all of my needs and was able to um, help me integrate it and actually implement this interactive feature you see right here where I'm clicking between the two. So Zing charts did very well for me there. As far as the front end, um, just HTML and CSS for styling, but I used a lot of bootstrap just to not have to focus on that. If you look at the design, it doesn't need that much styling. Everything's pretty simple. So bootstrap took care of everything for me there. So now I just want to talk about the experience itself and maybe some recommendations. So um, as far as what I kind of went through here, um, one thing I wanted to advise you is you'll never be fully ready for building something like this or even landing your first job. Most cases, you're probably just trying to get your first job here. So my recommendation is just to jump in. You're always gonna be at a point where you're gonna, you're gonna need to know more and that's just always gonna be the case, especially in this industry. So you're never gonna have all your ducks in a row. You're always gonna need to study something more. So just start building something. Um, anybody who's looking to hire just wants to see somebody that's willing to learn and wants to uh, just pick up new things and can get the job done. So I recommend just jumping into it and get started. And with this whole process right here, this gave me a great uh, great project to put on my resume and a hell of an experience because there's nothing out there that would be able to replicate doing something like this in boot camp or any form of college here. So uh, this experience right here really set me up and definitely solidified my resume and gives me a whole ton of confidence to be able to apply anywhere I really want. So if, if this story, you know, if this helps you out in any way, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. I just wanted to share my experience and hopefully inspire you guys and give you some kind of idea of what I did here. Um, I'm also thinking about making a full tutorial on this exact dashboard, just with different data, obviously. Um, so if you're interested in that, let me know in the comment section and I'll think about putting something like this together.